I actually <laughs> don't crazy. know what you're talking about. I think there's some things that guys don't even... That thing that I used to have, it's gone now. Do you know what I mean? No. It's yeah. bloody confusing. Do you still want big boobs? And but maybe everyone feels gross once in a while. But like pimples. <laughs> Welcome to the Asian Soup Podcast. I'm your co-host Jules and I'm your co-host Rox. The Asian Soup Podcast is your safe space on the internet where we share and discover real stories. We're here to chat about topics ranging from personal growth, um, career, relationships, anything that's happening in our lives and related to our Aussie Asian experience. Come sit with us and get nourished. Today we are going to talk about a pretty cool topic. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, it's beauty standards. So let's just dive in. I mean, why do you think this is an important topic to talk about? Or what is it, you know, why do you think we should even chat about it on the podcast? Yeah, well, this pod, um, this episode, we've been wanting to record it for a while now. Mm-hmm. Beauty standards, um, because it's quite important to both of us or at least for Mm -hmm. me it is important to talk about Mm -hmm. um I think the reason why I really wanted to talk about it is because when I realized that beauty standards have been changing so much over time Mm -hmm. I think I watched this YouTube video like what how beauty standards have evolved over like the centuries yeah and when I realized that I was thinking holy crap we're literally like just looking at a snapshot of what beauty standards are Mm -hmm. um and we're trying to like chase that yeah. And when I realized that, I felt like, oh, it's literally just a construct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, like me thinking that, you know, my, I don't know, for example, like my hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My <laughs> yeah. hair is not a certain way or a certain color. Yeah. Is not beautiful or it mm-hmm. is beautiful, but it's like, who defines that? And yeah. So I think I'm try- unpacking what beauty standards are and how, how, how they play a role or like what they mean Mm -hmm. um helps it can help us understand what beauty means to us Mm -hmm. and also like it could help us um like the relationship between you and yourself as well and what's considered beautiful Mm -hmm. so yeah I think that's why it's a good topic to talk about Mm -hmm. what about you so my take on beauty standards and why it's important is because like you, I think it has a lot to do with your self-confidence. Um, fortunately, unfortunately, because um, beauty and the way we see ourselves or feeling beautiful um, can make or break our day or can, you know, make us feel really good or really bad. Like, you know, some days I might wake up with a breakout and I'm like so unhappy um, or, you know, just – it's it's weird. It's I don't know why it's important. Um, another thing is I think it yeah why it, it's interesting because different people see beauty differently, and I think beauty has this way of you know if you feel you know accepted at school or in a social situation if you feel beautiful enough or if you feel like you you know are okay in that situation like sometimes. Oh, now I'm just talking about myself. But sometimes I don't even want to go out if I have no makeup on. You know, mm. like that's so vain, right? Like sometimes I'm like, why am I like this? I don't know. Um, yeah, so feeling beautiful yourself is one thing and then feeling beautiful to others is another thing and um, feeling desirable or, you know, attracted or attractive to someone who you're attracted to like or trying to be attractive for someone you're into it's very different, right? Like, Mm. yeah, so everyone has different standards. Everyone has different standards for themselves and also different standards for the type of person they're attracted to, which is super weird, I think. Yeah. And interesting. (laughs) I want us to create our own beauty standards, you know? Yeah. um, And remind ourselves that, you know, it's just a standard. It's not real. Yeah. It's just things we're creating or society is putting there. Mm-hmm. But it's also going to change, like you yeah. said. So what's the point of getting so upset about, you know, not, ha- not having boobs or something? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> maybe that's in. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm. yeah. Well, speaking of like beauty um, mm. and what's in and what's out, what 
are you currently like what is currently beautiful to you and what's in Mm -hmm. in your mind in my mind yeah I feel like I am not very on trend right now but I feel like what I think is beautiful hasn't changed that much yeah. over maybe since my early 20s. I feel oh. like it's pretty – actually, maybe it's changed a little bit. Like, yeah. I, okay, when I was younger or teens, right, I thought beauty standards or my ideal version I wish I could be was like, you know – taller I always wish it I was like 170 like model (laughs) height like I always wished oh I wish I was at least 168 or 170 yeah because that's the height people need to be to become a model I'm like why do you even you're not gonna be a model dude do you want to be a model I don't know why I just thought that that was like tall and skinny Uh, and um definitely wish I had more boobs I think mm -hmm. having like a full C would be perfect (laughs) yeah and then um so also it was weird because I would also always think that Eurasians were the most beautiful um being Asian full Asian myself I would always wish like I wish I was Eurasian or so not even like white you wanted to be specific. no I didn't want to be white in the middle I just wanted to be wished I was Eurasian wow and I, I um I think I was telling you like I used to love VV magazine uh-huh. from Japan and my favorite model I just searched it her name because I, f- I forgot but her name is Jun Has- Hasegawa and she sh- her to me was like the most beautiful girl ever wow. that I wish I could be yeah because she was like Eurasian she was tanned she had big eyes with the deep inset eyelids like the deep not just double eyelids but the yeah. deep ones okay yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean yeah and then um when you have deep inset eyelids <laughs> you also have a bit of the eyebrow definition mm. what I call like the eyebrow roof it's like an eyebrow Is that a thing no I just I don't know if I it's a know thing. know exactly but what you, you mean. Your eyes yes. come out. Yeah, like your yeah. eyes are in. Yeah. <laughs> your yeah, eyebrow is out. Yeah. And because you have the roof, you have a nose, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because yes. right now I'm flat. Yeah, like, okay. You know, and then you have the nose bridge yeah. because you have the eyebrow and because of you, ha- you have the inset eyelid. <laughs> so it's all connected, Yeah. right? Yeah. And I was like, that is perfect. Like. Wow. You have that nose bridge. You can wear sunnies and not look like a weirdo. <laughs> you can put eyeshadow. You can put eyeshadow like easily. And ha- easily. Any makeup look you want, you can achieve it. Um, you know, usually people with inset eyelids probably have, you know, more defined lashes or I don't yeah. know, just in my mind. And then she was also tanned and she grew up in Hawaii or something. And I was like, oh, that would be so nice. <laughs> like, And then growing up in Australia, I think, being tanned was um a beauty ideal um and yeah being tanned I felt like was important as well um yeah like long slim legs tanned that's it so Eurasian (sighs) you basically wanted (laughs) to be like such a crazy person no you're basically picturing like a Eurasian it's so funny yeah I just Eurasian I was Eurasian Eurasian like supermodel yeah with long legs super tanned <laughs> super tanned <laughs> <laughs> slightly bigger boobs but not too oh, big yeah. up, <laughs> but no not any bigger <laughs> is that too specific no yeah and then so yeah even now I I, I want to go back to just natural hair but I always I don't know diet brown I don't know if that has anything to do with it with, but with yeah to become Eurasian. yeah but I, I haven't gone to the point where I have I put on contacts or anything but that's also because I'm just lazy. So, yeah. Mm, oh what are God, your beauty? That's so interesting. And has it changed? Oh, wait, one more thing. Has mm. it changed a little bit? I think when I got past 25, I think I got a li- or 20. Like, I think I got a little bit curvier, maybe chubby. I don't know. But like I got more of a butt and then I used to be like, oh, my God, why am I hip so wide? Oh. Like how how the hell did they get so wide? And then now I'm like kind of embracing it because it's not as 
you know, people are curvy in different shapes, so whatever, it's fine. Like I think I'm at a point where they're not going to, my hips aren't going to like shrink. Yeah. So I just have to accept it. So you, you're kind of accepting it. It's, yeah, it's, it's like kind of in right now. It's in go. now. Yeah, yeah. But this Thank is you, not Kim even. Kardashian. Like, no one's perfect, but mm. yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's so interesting. So you still mm-hmm. want, you still think that Eurasian beauty is um, what you want to like, what you think is really beautiful? Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. If, but it's kind of weird for me to say that. Like, I think a lot of mixed race beauty is beautiful. It's not just Eurasian. Like I think like half black, half half white, half black, half Asian, like any I feel like any a lot of mixed races are really beautiful wow. to me. I don't know why. Just have an interesting look. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> what about guys? Do you think Eurasian sorry, going a bit off yeah. topic, but do you think Eurasian guys are attractive? Yeah, when I too? when I was little, yeah, I did. Oh, cause I yeah. have I have some friends, yeah, like Asian friends, yeah, who are obsessed with Eurasian yeah. guys, yeah. But I never got it. Do you know Daniel Henny? Is a he's a Korean um, actor? Eurasian actor. Okay. All my friends love Daniel Henny. Okay. But I just never. I was I was never drawn to that Eurasian. Oh, look. okay. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I think less so with guys actually. I didn't have a like I did, mm. but then I noticed girls more. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, for me, definitely, yeah, I do understand like the Eurasian girls. They are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. They're so <laughs> pretty. Um, I think. That, so, what was the question? The question. What, what are your beauty oh, standards or now, ideals now? Now, okay. So for now, okay, I'm just not gonna overthink it. I'm gonna go <laughs> just think from the top of my head. Yeah. You know, like those Pinterest girls, like the girls on Pinterest, right? There's so many girls on Pinterest. Like which ones? Let me nail it down. Okay, nail it down. Put some in here. <laughs> okay. So they are, they kind of look European. Like they, okay. It'll be like a group of girls, right? Okay. It's, it could be one. It could be two or three. Yeah. But it's this like effortless beauty. They have like just, you know, tossed hair. They got the eyebrow roof. Are like, they are they white? Like they're are, white. They're, they're, they're white. not Asian at they're all. Not yeah, Asian. Yeah. They're not Asian. That's let's make that clear. <laughs> okay, so that's okay, they're not Asian, they're white. They Pinterest look, Tumblr girl. Like pre- yeah. they could be blonde, they could be brunette. Brunette, um and they're just like dressed white. really nicely. Uh they Trendy. usually have something really delicious in front of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really skinny, yeah. Re- like they're really Europe skinny. in Europe, Europe somewhere, like summer in maybe Europe, maybe some streets in Italy okay. or in Paris, yeah. yeah. Like they Baggy look pants. so pretty to me, yeah. Like, like just even like a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, t-shirt, yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, that they're, they're so pretty, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be like one yeah. in my mind that I'm like, yeah. whoa, that's so. Like, any specific features that you thought? It's like that. I don't know what it is. It's like, like Kendall Jenner. Like is she? Because yeah, she's I think, the yeah, ultimate I think, of that, I feel. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel she's really pretty. Yeah. Like she's like beautiful. Very, mm. very beautiful. Um, Kate Moss. Yeah, Kate Moss. Like that okay. style. Yeah. yeah. So mm. I would say that is very beautiful. But mm-hmm. then there's a whole other side of me where I'm like, ooh. <laughs> what is this side? This other side where it's like, like the Korean actor. Oh, actresses or yeah. like K-pop stars. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, like really they're beautiful. Too. Yeah, like even like um, just speaking of this now because mm-hmm. it's like a hot topic at the moment. Mm-hmm. But in Inferno, yes, okay, yeah. like I think Chia is so pretty and beautiful. Yes, she is. She like is. all of them are beautiful. All of them are beautiful. Um, but even like I have some other favorites like in K-pop. Like I think Jenny from Blackpink is really pretty i don't know mm-hmm. if you're familiar yeah yeah i, I think, think she's lisa really beautiful. is really pretty I think because lisa, lisa is, is looks oh, eurasian yeah she yeah does. she has the huge she's eyes eurasian, like, yeah. yeah yeah to me she's the prettiest right in, okay <laughs> <laughs> we're judging right now <laughs> well let's, let's okay, just yeah. be real okay, like okay. you yeah. think she's the prettiest yeah, yeah. i think lisa's I think, the prettiest <laughs> every, <laughs> i think jenny's the prettiest <laughs> i love jenny more because she's aussie but then oh no that's rosé 
<laughs> yeah, we should be love. No, I love Rosé as well. Jenny's really pretty too. But Jenny yeah. has a look of Gia. Yeah, so Similar I think I look. like that cute, You like that puppy. The cute and sexy. The okay, cute yeah. and sexy, cute and sexy look. look. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think okay. that's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but so you have two. You have like the yeah. cute and sexy Asian look. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the hot white girl, <laughs> hot then, white Pinterest girl look. And then you have, you basically, <laughs> your one is m- my two merged together. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Because it's Eurasian, exactly. not that. Yeah. Oh my God. So I can't, <laughs> if I just say like, oh yeah, the European models, mm-hmm. if I tell you that that, <laughs> is like my beauty ideal. Yeah. That's a lie. Like I have an Asian <laughs> I definitely think like a you know Asian beauty is beautiful as well. Yeah, okay. You know? Well I, I also think that. But but for you for, you, for me yours, the Eurasian one is higher. Yours is more practical. You just you just blend it <laughs> yeah. into one yeah. person. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Uh and then I think looking back as mm-hmm. well you know how you look back mm-hmm. i think um like in primary school and stuff i mm-hmm. always thought like the like the the white girl mm-hmm. <laughs> was so pretty you know like they would just have like blonde, mm-hmm. hair, blonde hair and it's just blue so eyes bright mm-hmm. their legs are like at least this much longer than ours i don't know why they have different jeans yeah because you want to be taller like yeah, you want to be yeah. like yeah. yeah, I actually thought that it. was interesting that you wanted to be taller because you're already tall. You're already pretty tall. I thought I could be taller. I don't. I don't. Like, think- I thought I wanted to be taller. Like now, I'm happy with my height now. But when I was little, I wanted to be taller. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I never had like the desire to mm-hmm. want to be really, really tall. Mm-hmm. Um, like I didn't associate that with beauty. I was mm-hmm. always kind of okay with my height. I'm mm-hmm. like not even that tall right now. But mm-hmm. that was never an issue for me. But something for me is boobs. Mm. I always wanted boobs because mm. my idea of what was beautiful me or too. like feminine yeah. as a yeah. kid, for some reason, it was like a busty chest. And I boobs. think it's because maybe in the 90s that was in. Like that's what we grew up. Yeah. And it's really in now too. Boobs. Boobs are in are now. Back. Yeah. Yeah. So well, the kids now yeah. who like little kids now might want it, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Because I... I want. I really wanted. The yeah. Boobs. I thought that was very feminine and very beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And then when I, I remember in high school, that was a huge complex. Like mm. we used to go to the beach and like everyone wear like their bikinis yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Like and nothing. Yeah. Not being able to fill it up. Mm-hmm. That was embarrassed. Like not, not being it, able yeah. to wear a dress or something. Yeah. Like your formal dress. Yeah. You want to have like a V. You just chest. can't wear like, a, yeah, a V neck or yeah, don't yeah, know. yeah. But just, now. Do you still want big boobs? No. Nah. Yeah. Now I I think there was one point I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. being flat chested is great. It's better. Yeah. Like I think I always because I because I always thought I always wanted bigger boobs too, but it never made me too upset. Like mm. it wasn't the biggest thing for me. Like even though I knew I wish I wanted it, but it wasn't. I didn't want it enough to like get a boob job or anything. Yeah. But um, what was higher on that list for you? Then? I think higher would be, I don't know, being being skinny or being stylish or mm. like makeup or just face stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Like skin, good skin. Oh yeah, skin. Um, yeah. Like, but boobs definitely were like a thing that I was annoyed at. Like, I'm yeah. not happy with. But yeah. it wasn't like. There were still other things that I was unhappy with <laughs> first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was boobs like your top thing? No, it wasn't. No. I was, was your skin top thing? because skin, yeah. I had acne growing yeah. up. Yeah. And I think I feel like it, this is probably um, what other people would think as well, but your face is like mm-hmm. the first thing that you see. Yes, yes. So agree. normally whatever's on your face mm-hmm. is like, you know, that's the first focus, thing, yeah, that's yeah, on top of your list. So for totally. me, it was skin, yeah, um, and just like overall, like being pretty, yeah, like like, the, uh, like being seen as pretty, yeah, 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 and like 
I don't know. Like, no one says now, like, oh, she's really pretty or anything. It's such a school thing yeah, to say, right? Thing, yeah. yeah. Like, when you're growing up, it's yeah. such a big deal. Yeah, but when you're growing up, it yeah. is such a big deal. So I just repeated exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just, agree just agreeing. <laughs> it's fine. It is such a big deal. And then also, yeah, exactly. Like, that feeling of being pretty to boys or other people or someone you like. I don't know. I don't know why I keep yeah. saying that, but. It's different because yeah. you want to be pretty in your girl group. Like you want to be like mm. not girl group, but like you want to be pretty amongst pe- friends. Yeah. Like you're going out, like you'll want to dress up and go out. Yeah. But then you also want to be attractive to others, even if you don't like them. <laughs> I don't know. You just want to be like, I don't know. I actually I mean, don't crazy. know what you're talking about. <laughs> Like in general, wait. So there's two types of like wanting to be pretty, like one for your girls and one for like to attract th- the opposite sex. Is that what you're I saying? I think it's different. Really? Yeah. I think like I think there's some things that guys don't even think are important, and but girls think are is important. Do you know what I mean? No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like. Because girls know more about beauty and, like, how we dress or style and, like, um, how we, like, I don't know, do our hair and our makeup and stuff, skin. But I think guys, it's – I feel like it's different. What is an example of, like, a girl's night out and a night where you want to, you know, Hmm. be attractive to the opposite sex? Because I – um, yeah. Do you have like a separate like outfit or something? No, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe you wear different things. Yes. Or you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There is different. definitely yeah. probably something there. I po- yeah. I reckon it might be like with maybe when you're with your girls, it's more the feel like you want to dress so you can be part of that like tribe. Like you want to yeah. be part of the group. Yeah. Um, whereas, like, when you're going out for dinner, mm-hmm. you will dress maybe more feminine. Maybe you will yeah. wear that, like, a long – I don't know. Okay. Oh, but then maybe I, I got that, a better – Yeah? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I got a better, clearer answer. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> like, yes, give it to me. Okay. So, like, say you might be dating a certain person that likes different things. Like, say say you're dating um, a guy that likes – that says communicates that he likes it when you wear this oh. then you might try harder when you hang out with him to wear this oh. but actually when you're just chilling you don't wear that or you know you're just wearing a casual outfit <laughs> like whatever right right do you right. know what i mean yeah yeah so if he's like oh i like really it. like um i really love it when you wear a summer dress yeah, yeah. So like you, you might, uh, you know, try to wear more dresses or something. Yeah. I don't know. You shouldn't do that, but, you know. I mean, I think there's like, you know, you can. Yeah. Why not? You yeah, know, why if, not? If you, if that's what your partner or your whoever you're trying to. Finds attractive did. and you like yeah, them. You yeah, do. It's like, you know, when birds try and attract each other, <laughs> like they do. <laughs> They do like these things with their feathers. It's like you got to do what you got to do to attract them. Yeah, Yeah, to get them in. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, I think I get it. Yeah. It's like, I guess it's a human thing. Because that's something I've been asking myself. It's Mm -hmm. like, how much do I want to look good for my partner Mm -hmm. versus like what just makes me happy? Yeah. And I used to think like, okay, that. He needs to like me for who I am. Yeah. Right? That's, that's true too. Yeah, right? Yeah. But like where's the fun in that? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. why not? Like yeah. if he has something that he likes, why not? Like if it yeah. can make him happy and it's so simple. Yeah. Just, you know, it's not. he's not asking you to wear something <laughs> like in, 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 something really wild. Or, yeah. yeah. It, it really depends. If your partner's like asking for too much and he's like yeah, controlling yeah. you yeah yeah that's, then that's a bit no. like oh back yeah. off yeah. but if it's like a little something like oh a little summer dress or <laughs> yeah, something like that's, that that's okay why not yeah 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 i think i get it okay cool so i, I feel like the beauty standards that we're talking about mm-hmm. are like it's like western and i don't know yeah. are, are we being like racist and you know like 
Mm-hmm. That's the yeah, sad it's, reality. It's, true. it's, it's like, a sad reality. It's like, why did I have to say I think mixed race is beautiful? Is that just is that's weird, right? You're just like, saying we're we're just saying yeah. what we are feeling at the time, but yeah. we're here to unpack it. Yeah. We're here to unpack <laughs> it. <laughs> um I mean, how about we talk about what you think influences your different ideas of beauty as okay. well? Because yeah. I think you clearly have two, like <laughs> you have the Asian Korean influence maybe. Yeah. And then you have like the Western, full Western. Yeah. So yeah, maybe like how do you balance that or yeah, like, how does the beauty standard affect your everyday life maybe? Yeah, how does it affect my everyday life? It's yeah. bloody confusing. That's my answer. <laughs> because sometimes... Like, what do you do? Okay, one week, I'm like, okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to, like, be happy in my current skin color. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> if I'm born yellow, I'm going to be yellow, you yeah. know? Yeah. Or if I'm born a little pale, I'm going to be pale. Mm-hmm. And then, like, a few months later... I'm Summer like, comes along. I'm like, I want to be tan. <laughs> I want to go to the beach every weekend. Like, yeah. what's the weather? Like, is it sunny? Yeah, have to I need to work everything. on my legs. I need to work on I my need, back. Have, my back's so dark. I need to tan my front. Like, that was yeah. literally me today. Yeah. So it does change because I'm like, oh, um, I want to be, you know, embrace my my color of my skin for exactly how it is. Mm-hmm. But then I'm like, oh, sometimes I'm like really want to be tanned. Yeah. So I'm like always going back and forth. Yeah. Um. And always asking myself why. And then sometimes mm-hmm. I just let myself go with whatever <laughs> I get pulled to. Yeah. So, but I think it's like, I don't know. I don't think it's problematic. Mm-hmm. I think it's like, it's just good to be aware of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, I get really mad at myself. I'm like, why am I trying to be like something else? I should just be mm. beautiful how I am. Yeah. But then at the same time, I'm like, hmm, like... I still want, like, what does it mean to feel beautiful? Like, mm-hmm. like for example, if I'm looking at myself and I feel like I look a bit um, more chubby than I mm-hmm. want to look like, mm-hmm. I'm like, mm, I don't feel as, like, beautiful, mm-hmm. like, in my eyes. Mm-hmm. But then I'm like, but why? Mm. Like, it's either, okay, I have to accept the way I look now and... Mm-hmm realize i'm actually beautiful Mm -hmm. or is it um is it because i'm not living like a a more like active lifestyle Mm -hmm. so that is like reflected in the way i look and i'm Mm -hmm. unhappy with that Mm. which is it Mm. so i ask these questions like all the time yeah Um, and so my answer to your question is I'm a mess. Like I'm always back and forth. I'm like, is it this or is it that? No, this is good. No, 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 this is good. Like mm-hmm. it's a real mess. Like, yeah. Um, sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to be like Asian beautiful. Oh, no, I want to be like Aussie beautiful. I want to like blend in here. Well, I want to blend in here. Like, yeah, I'm all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> that is my answer for like at the moment. But yeah, ask yeah. me next week, probably give you a different answer. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a good answer. I think it does always change still. Um, it's weird because, uh, it can, it can be such a, uh, how to say it, it can make you so, certain things could make you really unhappy around beauty or your own beauty standards or looking at yourself in the mirror and like thinking, oh, you know, you know, I should work out more. Like I've really let myself go recently. Like what yeah. am I doing? Maybe I'm really tired or maybe I'm not making enough time to put in or schedule in working out or anything or um, or it's fine. Like stop looking, like stop giving yourself too much pressure because maybe you're just being unrealistic or you're just like, your self-talk is not good like just Mm. or I could still feel good about myself Mm. and do those things yeah like sometimes it's like is my self-talk hurting me too much or am I is it like a healthy check-in or is it healthy yeah Yeah. and sometimes I feel like with beauty it's so fun like Mm. you know like makeup is so fun and like you can you know you know try a different eyeshadow that day and it's fun or um you know dress differently that day and feel a bit better about yourself like I think there's different things um 
But yeah, it's always changing and you can always change a bit of the way you look with those things anyway. Yeah. Like you can change your outfit, your makeup or your hair. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of different things to do yeah. behind the scenes yeah. that I think we all do. Yeah. <laughs> Even boys do it, I'm yeah. sure. Um, so yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's like fun and it's not. Yeah, yeah. I think it really... I think the question you need to ask yourself is like, why are you doing it? Yeah. Like, and is, is it, it too much? Or, yeah. yeah. Is it for like, are you feeling up some insecurity? Is mm -hmm. it an insecurity that you're trying yeah. to cover up or overcompensate yeah. or yeah. whatever? Yeah. Or is it an expression of your your individuality? Yeah. And you're having fun with it. Like, yeah. it really depends on what that your intention yeah. is, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Oh, yes. I don't know if this was – this wasn't really planned, but I have a question. None um, of this is ever Growing really up, like growing up, were there things – like I feel like all my mum would say stuff or like, I don't know, would your mum say things to you about being pretty or anything or your parents in general? Yes. Or, yes, yeah. yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Can you, can you share anything yeah. that she'd say? When I was little, mm -hmm. I would hear like, oh, you know, oh, your daughter, she's so like pretty. I don't know if they mean it or not, mm -hmm. but they would say like mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it almost becomes like, oh, I think it's like part of the Korean culture. Have you read no. Pachinko? No, I haven't. So in Pachinko, I don't know if there's any spoilers here, so I'm just going to say spoiler alert just in case. Okay. Yeah. But like they, she talks a lot about pretty culture mm -hmm. like how important being pretty not important but like it's always mentioned the yeah. prettiness of that person yes in yes. that book right yeah yeah and i thought and in korean culture yes yeah and i thought damn like that's so relatable i think mm -hmm. i i get that like mm -hmm. i think i grew up with that mm -hmm. um yeah i think there was always like oh like she's mm -hmm. pretty or she's not pretty so um even for me it'll be like because i have a brother Mm -hmm. be like oh yeah he looks handsome oh she, she looks pretty mm -hmm. um and i think that's still the case now like mm -hmm. my guess is like oh like she looks like i don't know korean mm -hmm. like adults they like to say she's pretty or yeah like yeah. your daughter's cute your daughter's pretty yeah. like yeah. yeah aunties and stuff yeah. want yeah. They will, they'll comment yeah yeah, yeah. and then yeah. when i think when i was like in high school yeah i didn't really hear that <laughs> and i actually thought like oh is it because I'm not like I don't know a that child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it that or am I actually not? No, <laughs> no, because like in high school, that's when you kind of like I don't know. At least it's for a, me, it's a transition phase. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I wasn't being a teenager, a cute high school kid, right? Yeah, so yeah. I was like, oh, I remember I did feel like, oh, I'm not getting that anymore. Like when I go back to Korea, <laughs> yeah, for yeah. example. Yeah. yeah. Why did you have no, something like no, that? No, I think it's interesting because like if. Yeah, when I would go back to Hong Kong or something, my relatives or my aunties would be like, oh, you're so dark or something like, <laughs> <laughs> you're so dark, like yeah. you're so tan, like, oh, why are you so, why are you so dark colored yeah. and stuff? And obviously like uh, everyone's fine with being in the sun in Australia. Um, and then I think something similar or like a joke that, maybe Hong Kong parents would say to each other's daughters is like, wow, your daughter's so pretty. She should go to the Hong Miss Hong Kong beauty pageant, right? Like that's like a weird joke compliment that people Wait, will say. Do they say. mean that or? I don't know because I've heard it being said like, yeah, sure, like when I was growing up maybe and then also I've heard it being said to other people people too right so it's just like a compliment that they put in there yeah when someone when you they want to comment on someone's daughter it's like right. oh your daughter's so pretty you she should go to miss hong kong beauty pageant because yeah. hong kong beauty pageants back in the day like in the 80s and stuff they'd eventually become actresses and then um i don't know famous people and stuff but yeah i don't know it's just a weird comment I yeah find. that is weird I just mm. think it's a weird compliment, but um, yeah, I had a weird yeah. compliment, yeah, uh, in primary school where yeah. like my family friends would tell me that I have really long legs, like yeah. I don't have long legs, <laughs> but in primary school you I was do. kind, I don't, you I do. don't, I don't, 
I so Julia's don't. tanned right now and her legs look really good. <laughs> <laughs> like I had to comment on them today. I was Thank like, you. you're looking really Thank good. Thank you. I was flattered. <laughs> No, like, but they why said, do I have to comment on that? It's no, but my legs aren't long. Like, they're <laughs> definitely not long, right? And okay. But in primary school, I, I think my legs were a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But people would say, like, my p- family friends would be like, oh, she's got such long legs. Like, mm-hmm. wow. Like, I can't even – they wouldn't say, like, go to a pageant or anything. But, like, like, oh, you have long legs. So, I would think, like, oh, wow. Is that a good I'm thing? Like, yeah. I got long legs. Like, <laughs> I get big-headed. <laughs> And, like, it almost becomes, like, you become really, like, I don't know, like, cocky about it. I'm like, oh, I've got long legs, whatever. And then, like, in pri- when you start losing that, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> when you start losing that as, like, a Compliment. teenager. Yeah. No, 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 as, like, yeah. your legs aren't as long anymore. Your torso is getting longer, but the legs are getting oh my longer. God. Yeah. And you're just like, oh my god, my le- like that thing that I used to have, it's gone now. Yeah, and that makes you feel less beautiful as well. Mm-hmm. Like losing something, that I think sucks. it's kind of like youth as well. Like yeah. being yeah. looking youthful and looking beautiful. Yeah. It's like oh, being youthful. Yeah, Be- like you want to talk about that? Like, yeah, beauty, big beauty standard there. Yes. Okay, what do you think is the most ideal age for beauty? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, if you could stick, if you could stay forever young looking yeah at what age do you think you are your prime yeah it, or do you think you're at your prime now ooh. or do you think your prime has yet to come mm. <laughs> i think i've hit my i passed my prime <laughs> <laughs> do you think you passed it or do you think you're getting there i think i passed my <laughs> prime a long time as well <laughs> oh, i think so my sad. prime was long go- like in my mind my prime was like <laughs> 22 to 25 like 21 to 25 I think that was like my prime Mm -hmm. um but I must say I have received a compliment before saying like from someone was like oh no I think you're well I think I was like late 20s and my friend was like complimenting that no you're really beautiful now because you're more like you're less of a girl 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 you're like more you're like a becoming a woman now i'm like really and then Ooh. i was like oh that's <laughs> nice you started getting more hip <laughs> i don't know maybe they're just trying to make me feel better like oh okay um but yeah i don't know i think it's gone <laughs> it's think, really sad yeah. like yeah. to say that yeah. but i do also believe i'm a bit of an optimist when it comes to like beauty like being yeah. myself i always feel like there's always more. If I just lose like X <laughs> kilos, like I can bring it back. Like, yeah, I, like I have that. If in I my train, mind. you know, like if I really go and work out and stuff, I'm sure it will be. Like, yeah, yeah, I we'll, think we'll that. reach another prime. Yeah, but it's like only if I. You have to work on it. Achieve. You have to work. You have to work on it. On beauty. Yeah, you have <laughs> Even to your work. skin. Yeah, and when you're young, like you don't have to do any exercise yeah. and you're, you're skinny. Yeah. But in your thirties, you need to work you on gotta, it. You, you gotta, gotta do stuff. Yeah. yeah, you, you gotta, do. You do. Yeah, and make sacrifices. Oh, another thing, like youth, right? That's mm. another thing. I think we were already talking about skin, but um, sometimes I think it was just chatting with friends or watching a video. But if you have nice skin, you yeah. don't need to be like the most beautiful or anything. But having beautiful skin, you're beautiful. You're already like 100%. so much more beautiful yeah like your having nice skin is your most beautiful version already and you yes just, you just look anyone with good skin is like well yeah i feel yeah yeah i agree skin is like i don't know it's just because maybe there's just so much surface area i don't know what <laughs> is you see it the you're most looking, you're looking at that person yeah right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah. it's just like yeah, anyone with good skin i'm like oh but you know what? Yeah. I'm not as um, jealous of people with good skin as much as I used to be mm-hmm. because you can have good skin. You have makeup, good skin. Makeup yeah. covers and it. Makeup. Yeah, yeah, makeup and also like editing, <laughs> editing. But also like there's so much good um, skin products out mm-hmm. there. More knowledge yeah. out there. So. It's not something. It's something you can have. You can work on as well. Kind of work on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone can Whereas work before, on it, as well. it was like 
if you had bad skin, it was either proactive or like nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and proactive. also like, yeah, when you're growing up, um, you might be breaking out more. Or, yeah. yeah. Or there is adult acne. Adult acne is yeah. so hard as Actually, well. I was dealing with a bit of adult acne recently and still like, yeah, like scarring and stuff. Like I got hormonal acne. Like this is kind of gross, guys. But it's not gross. <laughs> it's, like, it's normal. Um, I was getting like cystic yeah. pimples yeah. or like – hormonal acne around my chin just like once a month right before my period yeah i would get this huge just a huge one there's no yeah there's no even like head on the people oh (laughs) they're so gross and it's just like why are you here it's so huge um but yeah i'm working on it and i'm i think my routine now is better but then i just need to work on my scarring which is um annoying but i'll keep working on it yeah but yeah there's there's things out there you can yeah. do and try um, yeah and there's makeup too yeah and then i feel ugh, skin is like a hard like it's really hard i used to have so like now we're talking about yeah you know, let's talk about like what isn't beautiful that yeah. we have had to have work had, on yes so or <laughs> all may- working on now, now yes yeah. so one okay. big one talking about skin and acne yeah. i used to have really bad back acne Really? Yes. I was school. actually dealing with it a little bit recently. But like, it's the worst. Like, Because you want to wear tops. Yeah, you can't. Backless tops or go you to can't. the beach. I mean, you can, but... You can, but shy. you don't want to, like, show it. And yeah. It's not even, like, the aesthetics or, like... You just feel I, bad. No, it just it feels hurts. Ba- it hurts. You oh, accidentally yeah. accidentally scratch your back. And then you, I sometimes will have like blood in my fingernail because like I popped a pimple. Oh my like, god! Oh. You're wearing a white shirt. The blood goes through oh to the god, white no. shirt. It's like actually impractical and painful. Oh my god, that sounds so painful. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I was grew dealing out of with it. it recently as well. I'm like, why am I dealing with this at this age? Mm. And yeah, so I'm like trying different body washes and stuff and. I felt really shit because I felt like I can't go to the pool. Really? I don't want to wear a bikini in front of people I know. Like, yeah. you know, it's just like I feel gross. Mm. Yeah. So See, talking about feeling gross, right? <laughs> feeling gross. Yeah. Because <laughs> let's just get real gross <laughs> after no, talking about beauty you feel ideals. Gross. No, but you feel gross because you're going against those beauty yeah, ideals. It it's sucks. Not, you're so far away. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why we it's important to talk about these beauty ideals because they're not they're just ideals. And but, maybe everyone feels gross once in a while. <laughs> but like pimples, right? That's yeah. like human. That's like yeah. you can't Okay, so I'm going to talk about my... I had a fungal nail. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. It was like... Which nail? Like on your foot? Oh, my toenail. Toenail. Like your big toe. My big toe. Oh, no. And was it painful? It was... Um, so it started I'm getting a bit TMI, but started off with an ingrown, right? Yeah, yeah. And then it actually evolved into a fungal nail, but I didn't know it was a fungal nail. I mm-hmm. thought it was just like my toe was forever going to be kind of more curved and discolored mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and thicker. It was thicker yeah. as well. Yeah. And I didn't know what it was until mm-hmm. my I showed my friend who's mm-hmm. a doctor and she was mm-hmm. she was like, Hey, that's I think that's a fungal nail. Yeah. You can just take oral medication for that. Mm-hmm. Oh, for three months, easy. And it's gone. Yeah, and I was like, "What? You can you can get rid of this? Oh, this can yeah. this is not forever." And yeah. she's like, "Yeah, you can get rid of it." Yeah. So now, thanks, um, Doctor. I'll show you later, but <laughs> <laughs> thanks, show you later, Dr. but friend. I know. Yeah. Seriously, thank you so much. Yeah. But a lot of these like um things, you can go to the doctor and get it checked out because sometimes there is a solution for it. Yeah. Um, another one, my mm-hmm. ear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had yeah. a huge like keloid scar on my ear oh. and it was like what was it from an ear piercing piercing oh. and it got so big it was getting yeah. bigger and bigger and bigger and yeah. I couldn't like tie my hair up oh because my God, you couldn't show your ear I couldn't show my <gasps> ear so I'd always like tie my hair like this Oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> but that's how embarrassed I was about it. Oh my god! But can you sucks. can you imagine that like covering your ear? That with your idea hair? of like having to cover just because. How did you fix it? Oh, um, I got surgery. Friend. Oh, you got surgery. I got it cut off. Um, can I see it now? I can't even tell. There's yeah. anything. Yeah, I was really lucky that it didn't grow back. Yeah, but you know that idea of like you know something is gross or. 
something is like you want to hide. Yes, but yes, it's like I hate why? that feeling. But it's like why, you know? I don't know. Because you don't feel beautiful. You feel like it's gross and I you're know. like, I feel like I don't want anyone to see this part of me like that. I think it's like that pressure. Yeah. To like you have to have, be this certain yeah, why? perfect version of yourself. But like even my fungal nail, right? Yeah. I showed one of my friends and every time I like talk about it, I'll kind of giggle. I'll be like, oh, I have a fungal nail. <laughs> like, I'm <laughs> yeah, like, embarrassed yeah, yeah. and shy. Yeah. But one my most recent friend that I talked to, talked mm-hmm. to her about the fungal nail, she didn't even flinch. She was just like, oh, yeah, fungal nail. Oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Like just talking yeah. about it like really normally. And then yeah. that made me think, hey, I don't even need to be embarrassed about this. It's a, I think it's the insecurity around it. It's the it. insecurity and it's mm-hmm. like my judgment on, on it yourself. as well. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Same with acne. Like yeah. in, it's in your mind it might – be kind of not pleasant looking you, but people might not even notice or people yeah. might even have worse acne or whatever yeah and if someone's judging <clears throat> you for having pimples yeah. that's a reflection on them as well yeah do you know what i mean like if yeah, i true. anyone did you flinch when i said fungal nail guys because <laughs> <laughs> obviously you feel for the person especially people when they have really bad acne like that would just suck, you know. Or, yeah. Um. You know, I have friends who have like eczema, and it's like it's just shit, you know. And it just, you know, everyone has these insecurities. Yeah. Um. I think another interesting thing about beauty standards growing up versus now that I was chatting about before, mm. but with you, but um, it's hair removal. Oh yeah. Because like growing up. It was a big deal to remove all your hair yes. in the unwanted areas, like yes. whether it's um, getting a Brazilian wax, underarm hair, upper um, lip, upper lip um, legs. Yeah. Um, you know, there's so many different tools and devices you could do at home or you could go to the salon. Like mm. it's just never ending. And even now, like brows, you yeah. know. When I like have my brows done, I feel so much better. But then when I when it's been a few months and I'm like, you know, I don't yeah. know, I don't know what shape these are anymore. Or, <sighs> yeah, it definitely makes a difference. But that's changing now. Yeah, I know. Cause, yeah, like I think the Leah was, Field notes. Yeah, she she just, has like, full blast armpit hair. Yeah, and I remember I like when that. I first saw it, I had to like rewind rewind it. it like, I had to rewind times. it too. I was like, did she really just show her armpit yeah. hair? Yeah, but then you know because I love Leah Mm -hmm. and I've been watching her for a while now and I'm pretty desensitized to armpit hair. Mm. But in the beginning, it was a wall. Yeah. But now I'm like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Go Leah. That's cool. I know. I wish I could do that. I've actually tried to like grow out like – because I – um, what do you call it? Lasered it. Yeah. And then now I've just sort of thought, why am I lasering it? Yeah. (laughs) I want to be like Leah. Grow grow them out. So I have – I've just been growing them out and I've just – Actually, armpit, that was something I was always really embarrassed Me about. Me too. I, I sometimes don't wear tank tops because I don't want to show it. Or if I need to show it yeah. and I need to wear a dress, then I'm fully like, oh, my God, I need to, like, deal with this. Is it the hair or is it, like, the, um, the, the color? Skin? Oh, yeah. that's a thing, I swear. Yeah, I, like, I know why other can't friends. it just be, like, perfectly yeah. the same as the skin out here? No, the question is... Like, why can't it look like <laughs> this skin? No. Why does it have to look a bit darker? No, but the, oh, there's, there's like a shadow. No, that's not the qu- right question. Why? The question is, <laughs> even if it's discolored, why can't I just open my arms confidently? Like, <laughs> you know, that should be the question, you know? The guys get to just take off and then Yeah, whatever. be whatever. Yeah. So even I like... Know, but I don't think... I don't we know. have beauty ideals for <laughs> armpits as well. It's crazy. No, like people don't even see this much. Unless you yeah you lift your Tie arms your up yeah i don't know and it's the body hair yeah. is body hair even like um the upper lip mm-hmm. i thought having the upper lip hair made you more masculine which mm-hmm. made you less beautiful that's mm-hmm. what i thought mm-hmm. like in high school yeah um my preference is still to not have anything mm-hmm. here um but yeah it's i think it's good to ask like why though you mm-hmm. know Mm-hmm. 
why who cares if you have a bit of fuzz on your upper lip <laughs> why are you laughing you know what I mean like yeah because I feel like I've heard of stories where people notice the fuzz and it's so, it's so funny like it's like oh damn like you don't want to be that person like that that that's like, that's in, like my, in my head. um in yeah. my mind I'm like oh my god I don't want to be that person mm. um where people notice it but I don't yeah but then I'm like oh sh- I don't know but yeah it's like that fear of not of people noticing your grossness right or m- me feeling that I'm gross. yeah or why is it considered gross Anyways. yes okay another thing yeah what is the what are some extents that you have gone to for beauty oh okay I've got one uh-huh. um so I I wanted to like lighten my hair mm-hmm. as a kid Mm-hmm. In, in I can't remember if it's primary school or uni mm-hmm. uh, or high school. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember like I kept trying to put lemon in my hair. Lemon? <laughs> trying to brighten it. Okay. It didn't work. Like, but okay. do you know how Where did you read that? I don't know. Lies. Somewhere on the internet. Yeah. Okay. So I remember trying to put lemon in my hair. So that's one. Yeah. Um. What about you? Hmm. Oh yeah, I guess I have to think about it. But um, yeah, yeah like- I guess all the hair removal stuff that I tried was already a <laughs> okay. lot. What, I thought what that are was all enough. The different like, hair removal you know, methods. I think I was just growing up, like in in school, and for some reason, suddenly everyone was shaving their legs and stuff, or mm. waxing and everything. So I tried like my mum's hair removal cream. Like, oh yeah, there was yeah. that cream you put on and you leave it there for. Yeah a few minutes and then you wash it off. Wash it off. Yeah. But I I did that and I think I was a bit allergic to it. Mm. So then the next time I tried, I tried shaving, but I had no idea what shaving was and there was no YouTube back then. Yeah, I was just reading like, I don't know, Dolly magazine or something. But I shaved dry like, oh. and it was so painful did you cut yourself i didn't cut myself but i got a rash on my leg oh my god and i was like oh my god what and i have to go to school and you have to wear it you can't cover it and i was just like so oh pain. My god. but yeah that was stupid um yeah hair I removal remember, stuff like you know how do i describe this but like you know when um like when Adam and Eve, like, you know, when Eve ate the apple, like she suddenly realized she's like naked. naked. Yeah. I had that sort of moment when um, <laughs> I didn't eat an apple. I love, yeah. I love this. But like I remember once yeah. I was just like in a really bright space or something. Yeah. And for the first time I noticed the hairs oh. on my fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and oh my god like, and then i was Me like too. Oh what is god. that i was like what when did that <laughs> happen hair have to grow there when did that happen i was like what like, what is <laughs> why do we have hair there yeah exactly like why I know that to keep me my fingers warm like why <laughs> and then i remember i checked my toe and my big toe had like a little few fuzz <laughs> hairs too. Right. and i was like oh my gosh like what the hell oh my, my body's gosh. changing and yeah. i remember like I got so shocked. Yeah. My reaction was like, I, w- I got tweezers and I plucked them <laughs> all. <laughs> but then that was like me as a kid. Yeah, now yeah. I look at them and I'm like, oh, that's just like normal. Yeah. Like yeah. I look at my hand and it looks fine. Like, <laughs> yeah. With the hair there. Yeah. But when, when I, when oh I first God, noticed no, it, I was like, like shame. Oh, what? I don't why? know why. I don't know why. Like, okay, right now my nails aren't done, but like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's part of like really the the whole thing that I need to do. <laughs> you have to be hairless. Yeah, and then um oh another thing that's really funny. But another thing was like I used to get my nails done. Well, because of the pandemic, I haven't gone out to do my nails, and then I just do my own at home, and I don't have any right now. But I had acrylics, and then when I was in Hong Kong, I got gel. And then there was this one time where this lady, like the nail lady she like with the tool like the zzz tool oh it, like the um, dremel the yeah and it um it hit my skin yeah so it hit the tip of my skin and it kind of bled a bit and then you know whatever it got infected like my whole f- 
like my whole top finger here was like infected and Cute. the nail and stuff and I just had to cut it and stop it and like it was really painful but I oh. still wanted to have my nails pretty and then I was what? like like after it it took a while t- for it to heal yeah um because I just thought it would go away but yeah I had to go to the doctor and stuff but I was like oh my god this is so painful but your desire to have your like nails pretty was higher than but then I realized because it got worse it kept got getting infected. it got uh-huh. yeah it got infected so then I was like oh I need to get this checked you, were you on <laughs> antibiotics and stuff I had to put cream on uh, and stuff okay, like yeah. it was fine in the end but yeah I was like oh so not worth it yes yeah pain is beauty comes at a cost beauty, yeah and it's painful as well um like waxing bloody hurts like i don't yeah. wax yeah um what else I don't like wax anymore no, there's things that i've gotten older that i'm like letting go of even like gua sha or like mm-hmm. i don't know if anything's painful you feel mm-hmm. like it's kind of different to your nail thing but like yeah. you think like it's working yeah <laughs> yeah sometimes if it stings you're like yeah, yeah. okay um, my skin's getting younger <laughs> <laughs> It's peeling. It's peeling. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's maybe finish up with like, yeah, what, how do you want to finish up? I was thinking, you know, we're talking about <laughs> what's embarrassing, what's considered yeah. gross and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. But I think like we need a takeaway. Yeah. Like, need, yeah, like what is all this about? Yeah, because yeah. I, I in do, the end. in the end, like this is what I think. Yeah. Like in the end, I think that beauty is... It is a standard that is mm-hmm. created by society and it is a s- construct. Mm-hmm. It can be fun. Yeah. It can be fun. You can use it to express your personality and mm-hmm. your self-expression. Yeah. yeah. You express your personality and your individuality. Yeah. Um, I think this is what I try and tell myself is mm-hmm. that beauty is doesn't equal to how worthy you are or how important you are as a human being or your contribution to the planet Mm -hmm. or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I think beauty is just a tool. Yeah. So if you consider it as a tool Mm -hmm. to get you kind of like money, I guess, (laughs) like watch our previous episode on money. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think beauty is a tool that mm-hmm. can, yeah, it can help you express yourself, but it can mm-hmm. also help you, I don't know, like, not get things that you want or anything like that, but like, yeah, just think of it as like a tool that you can, yeah, it's just a Keep tool. Keep working on it's just in a, different ways. Yeah, yeah but it's just, a tool. it's just a tool. Like have fun with it and yeah. don't get super like attached to it. Yeah. Like else, have fun with yeah. it and that's it. Like you don't yeah. have to... um yeah, it doesn't mean mm-hmm. like if it's affecting your confidence, like rather than thinking, oh, this is gross, like, mm-hmm. you know, um, why you should get rid of it. Like mm-hmm. rather than that, really think about like why. Why? Yeah. Why? Ask yourself why and always just recognize it's a tool and mm-hmm. you don't, everyone's ideals of beauty is different. Yeah. And, you don't have to keep chasing it because it's, it's yeah, unrealistic. It's really yeah. unrealistic and also it's also like a reflection of that person. Like mm-hmm. whoever like the pe- people around you, if they are judging you because mm-hmm. you're not, you know, here mm-hmm. in, in the in, in the beauty scale, yeah. like that's a reflection on them. Mm-hmm. So don't let that define who you are. So yeah. I think that's sort of my takeaway and what I want to tell myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because like, yeah, I don't know. I could go on and on and on, but <laughs> yeah. I think it's interesting you said that. I think another takeaway I feel like we haven't touched on is like beauty, it's really um, something that is a first impression, like mm-hmm. physical beauty. Because right now all day, all, all throughout this whole episode, we were talking about physical beauty. Yeah. And then – um there's a you know there's a whole other side which is like you know your inner beauty like when you get to know someone and maybe you know no one like you might find them more attractive as you get to know them because of every other thing that they do like 
all the other things that they do. Like maybe they're really good at um, what they do career-wise or maybe they're, you know, really good at writing or, you know, maybe they're a really good friend to you and, you know, they're really loving or, or something like that. Like that's also, there's also beauty in other things that are not physical. Um, so today we were being super vain. Um, <laughs> and yeah, maybe just, yeah, everything you said as well, like ideals are just ideals. Standards are set by society or people or yourself so why do we need a why do we need to set them like and you know maybe as long as it doesn't hurt your confidence too much and you can mm. work on it then I think try to find a healthy relationship with your idea of beauty um but if it is not getting healthy or it's too much then there's always another way to work around it or to look at it mm. yeah, yeah like style yeah I think style that's why I love style because yeah, like how you dress yeah yeah because I think that's a bit different to beauty yeah beauty but is it, like what you're born or but it relates to your whole look yeah like it's your still, brand yeah yeah like it's still a way where how people re like see you and feel your vibe yeah beauty standards wow i didn't think we'll talk so much about I know. it but it was so fun <laughs> it's kind of funny <laughs> oh my gosh we said a lot of dumb stuff now everyone who watches this knows i have a fungal gross. nail yeah and our back acne stories <laughs> which aren't fun but um, it's real but so, it is real so yeah if anyone has tips on beauty or <laughs> uh, or what you know yeah, what, what have what, you struggled with or have you ever thought about like oh why am i trying to be like why do i want to look like this like why do i yeah. have 